What okay. you need to do from this standpoint is market research, collect data, put your feelers out there as us old people say, right? The way you do that for all of you who are paying attention to this, who are doing anything in any way, shape or form to build an audience to pull clients out of, which you all should be doing. You find 10 groups where your ideal client hangs out, where the general topic is relative to the thing that you do in your world, financial planning, investing, right? All of those kinds of things. Um, digital nomad groups, all of these things where these people hang out and they on a regular basis talk about topics that are relative to what you can speak to. Now, you find those 10 groups. You go become a member of those 10 groups. You don't go post anything in those groups until you've taken a week or two at minimum, eight or 10 hours in each group, looking through what the actual going on is in that group. And you determine if it's a group that you want to participate in, okay? Step one is that. Step two is gently becoming visible, meaning you don't go in and post a great big huge post and you don't go in and like 700 things. You go in and you, you like a couple of well-written statements or well-posed questions or well-posed posts. Just three or four just gently start becoming visible in those groups, okay? That's step two. Step three, you continue to engage that group, liking, you start short commenting, right? Short commenting is, is wow, that's fantastic. That's cool. Not totally surface level, but just enough to where people start seeing your picture and your name, your picture and your name, your picture and your name. That's step three. Step four is you become a little bit more engaged with the people in that group. You go in and you ask a question, something that you can totally answer. And you're doing that in a way to elicit what those fucking people that are active in that group think or know about the question you asked. That's step four. Step five is you begin building a relationship with the people that are most commonly engaged in those groups and the group owners. That step five is a much bigger conversation than what we're talking about here. From a market research perspective, going about it on Facebook groups, that's how it's done. Those are the five steps. Your only intention in doing that is finding three to five groups that you mesh well with that hold a, a fairly large population of active engaged people in a marketplace that's very relative to the thing you speak about. Step six is you slowly become the authority on your specific niche down thing that's relative to that marketplace. Step seven is you begin having people reach out to you and PM you and start going through your profile funnels, your Facebook profile funnel. Stick around for a while and you'll learn what that is. All of a sudden, people are in your world. You never asked them to join you in your world. They're there because you went through the right process to bring them into your world. And those people are highly targeted leads for your business. Step eight is you put together a mock-up idea or mock-up version of the thing that you can teach and you give it to 10 or 20 people and get their feedback on it. You ask them, here's what I do, here's what I know, here's what it's like, et cetera, et cetera. Step nine, you put together a beta course or coaching program or a paid membership group, whatever that is. Step 10 is you then begin to build an audience. We can teach you that in a totally different, totally different place. So there's, from my perspective, knowing what I know about you and what you want to do, if that's the direction you go, those are the 10 steps that you can and should take in the next 60 to 90 days to get that going.